The Good Harma Hospital es una serie británica basada en los casos médicos de la bella isla de Sri Lanka, al sur de la India. La serie, producida por Tiger Aspect Production para el canal británico ITV y distribuida por la plataforma Anchor, nos cuenta la historia de la joven médico Ruby Walker, que después de una separación devastadora de su novio, decide buscar nuevos horizontes lejos de Inglaterra, por lo que cree que es una buena idea responder a un anuncio que ha visto para trabajar en el hospital Good Karma ubicado en la remota comunidad de la India. Ruby empaca sus cosas y viaja cruzando el mar hacia un nuevo destino, con la esperanza de comenzar una nueva vida. Sin embargo, al llegar al pueblo, se encuentra que la sorpresa de que el hospital está sobresaturado, tiene pocos recursos y exceso de trabajo. Además, está dirigido por una excéntrica expatriada inglesa, la doctora Lidia Fonseca, una mujer dominante que habla con demasiada franqueza y además el equipo lo compone el anciano cirujano Ram Nair y el arrogante joven Gabriel Barna. Llega la cuarta temporada de Good Karma Hospital, más ocupada que nunca la feroz y apasionada doctora Lidia Fonseca, se ve obligada a enfrentarse a su complejo pasado y tiene tiene que enfrentarse a algunas verdades para salvar a Greg de la deportación y quizás incluso de su futuro juntos. Por su parte, la doctora Ruby todavía está asombrada después de la decepción amorosa tras la sorprendente marcha de Gabriel. Aunque no es fácil, Ruby se esfuerza por ver un futuro mejor, aunque sea algo incierto por momentos. Pero en la isla llegarán dos nuevos médicos en el hospital de Good Karma. El carismático doctor Sami Hassan, de origen británico, y la doctora Nikita Niki Sharma, la personificación de una mujer privilegiada, mujer india, que está iniciándose en la carrera de medicina. Si estás listo para saber más de qué se viene en esta nueva cuarta temporada de Good Karma Hospital, acompáñame a la entrevista que le hicimos a Marita Ankaria, más conocida como la doctora Ruby Walker. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been a wonderful and I feel very honored to be here to speak with you. I love this series. Okay. It's incredible because, you know, we have so many in the, during the pandemic. I think we feel closer to every single series about hospital. Mm. But the difference about Karma Hospital is the location, the human factor, and yeah. also give the opportunity to travel. So how is for you this experience? Because you submerge. Yeah, really, I mean, it's a great job in terms of being in Sri Lanka, you know, and obviously over COVID travel was so restricted. So I felt really lucky because the first half of the year I was in France doing a different show and then it was like two weeks back home and straight to Sri Lanka. So yeah, I had a, a really nice time and it was really nice to be back because there was a bit of a gap because of COVID obviously uh, between filming the previous season and this season. So that was great. It's oh no, we love it. We love the flowers, especially the bar, you know, sometimes yeah. we feel like, ah. Oh. You, you think people can travel to Sri Lanka and be in this sort of a place the location was filmed? Yeah, people go there all the time. I mean, the hospital itself is usually a school, um, but you, you can see, you'll, I think people recognize it from the outside. The beach bar they built, so that isn't there, but the beach is there, so you can see the beach. Yeah, we, um, we, yeah otherwise, a lot of the locations, I think you can, you might not know that it's the location because sometimes things are built, but otherwise, yeah, you can see. And it's as beautiful no, as it looks. There's no CGI. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. I've been to India once and I was full in love about the color, yeah. the food, the flowers. I think if you, when you see documentaries or either movies, if something is missing, it is the smell of the flower at the incense. Yeah. So that's why I think it, it's so beautiful to be there. Um, is any particular a special skill that you have to learn to become a doctor on the if series? From a hospital, it was learning the motorbike. I don't think that's a skill that's required for actual doctors. <laughs> Uh, no, I think like um, the hardest thing would be sometimes making sure the medical terminology terminology is correct, um, mm -hmm. and, and also trying to make sure you sound like you know what you're saying because sometimes you don't. Um, but luckily, we have um, people on set, uh, Tim, who's a nurse, who can help with it. Yes. And if I get really stuck, you know, well, Dan Sefton, the creator, is obviously a doctor as well, but my dad's a doctor, and so I can always. Ask oh. Him. And so he'll always be like, this is what it is, or like, this is what this means, or this is how you do this procedure. So oh, that's quite a good, good person to have. And do you, for example, go to the different hospital over there in Sri Lanka to see how it is and get more in character? No, we haven't been to the hospitals in Sri Lanka. Um, 
I don't think we ever visited any hospitals, actually. Um, apart from when we had to go to hospital for something, or like if we were visiting somebody, but not for research, no. But then like my whole life I've been in different hospitals um, with my dad too, kind of, because I'm nosy. <laughs> so, so I've seen, you know, I've, I've been to hospitals in, in Nepal where I grew up as a kid, so I kind of drew similarities from that and obviously asked my dad a lot about the difference between a hospital in somewhere like India, Nepal or Sri Lanka compared to hospitals in Britain, especially for my character in the very first season, you know, that's something I had to keep in the back of my mind. What what would my reaction or my perception of this hospital be compared to what I was used to in England, for example. If you want to share, what is for you the most magical moment in during all four seasons? Could you say, wow, this is something I will never forget? Um, I think the sunsets in the very last season, the, uh, the episode where, um, on the beach and there's so many sunsets and it's those ones that you just, I've never seen sunsets like the sunsets in Sri Lanka ever. So anything on the beach, I'm always wowed by. But in terms of the most inspiring moments for me is really watch, like watching all the crew do everything that they do before we step on. I find that really amazing to see the amount of teamwork and effort that, you know, that all the hard work everybody does before we step on and do our bit. So that to me is magical. It's true, huh? because sometimes we don't see the behind the scenes. Yeah. And yeah. and it's important for us the audience to know that everybody's world. Sometimes I yeah. feel that people I mean, leave. especially in the medical drama, the prosthetics, for example, you know, it's mm. like amazing work that Davy Jones and his team do. Um, and it looks really real as well, you know, so um, so that I think is really great to acknowledge. And the same goes like for the set design. Like I said, the um, the hospital itself is an actual building. It's not a set. It's it's a it's a teacher training college, and the um, the the crew come in and they they've literally made it look like a hospital. You know, you go in and you think you're in a hospital. So that's quite special, I think, because you'd expect to do most of that on sets that are just purposeful mm. built and it doesn't really look like a hospital. It's just like a corner that looks dressed for a hospital. But this feels like the real thing, you know. That's good because you make you feel really encouraged. Yeah, um, so it makes my job easier. <laughs> Something about I like about Dr. Ruby Walker is mm. because she is very brave because it's not easy you know, Lydia Fonseca. Dr. Lydia yeah. is really yeah. have a strong character. She's very dominant. She knows what she wants. So, but also Ruby never feel down. She always showcased the part, you know yeah. what I mean? And it, she, both characters are very strong women. In these days, yeah. uh, the way I'm, you know, celebrating a woman in power, how do you feel for you is to be in in this position. I don't know if Amanda is the like that in real life, but for what I can see as the audience just like, ah, oh, <laughs> she's tough, you know? Um, I think it's great that the show centers two women and also two women of different generations. I think that's really important and portrays them both as strong women in professional jobs. So I think that's such a big, big um, plus for the show. Um, and you know, I've had uh, young women on social media send me messages saying oh I love the show and it makes me want to be a doctor and I, you know that's quite nice to because I, I think growing up for me what I've understood is and now as an adult it's kind of like if you don't see on screen women or women of color um, achieving and succeeding and being strong whatever that means you know whether it's physically strong or mentally strong and relying on themselves and not you know a man or somebody else to keep them um, I, I think it just shows the upcoming generation that they that it is possible you know that they don't have to just just be the side character in their life they can be the main character in their own lives and I think that's a really strong message. Now that you say two things very important, the strong and also no need a man, mm. as a character, you know, Ruby has been independent, left hometown, left the comfort bubble, traveled to India, mm. become a doctor over there, fall in love. Yeah. And now it's been, she's also been as strong as a doctor, but she's also been as strong as a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Can you te- tell us, because we are a little bit of a curious, how it's going to become season four about the love? Oh, Any tease you can no. be? It will be a new encounter. We see no, you, you as an we issue. We have a new character with a new coming boy. in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we Crash have a bike coming in, so I don't know. I'd be giving things away. But uh, I think what's interesting about season four is, you know, you mentioned that Ruby is always kind of up and she's always, um, I guess, like a, a positive force in the Good Karma Hospital. And I think in season four, what's interesting is that, that because of this the heartbreak and, you know, she's been badly burnt, it's that inevitable crisis of someone that's really positive having to deal with the fact that they can't be positive and that's what was really interesting to explore in season four so well, yeah when you watch it it'll be quite interesting to see what you guys think because i think the way that ruby handles love has changed a little bit and she takes ownership of what that means to her towards the end of the the show um you know and i'm quite proud of her for doing it on her own time yeah. Yeah. You should be proud because yeah. I think, you know, uh, your character gives a lot of your own personality. We can see a lot from yourself yeah. and you're a very inspired human being, not just an actor, you're just a human being. You give this, because even if people don't want to be a doctor, they say, well, I want to discover new worlds. I want to travel yeah. to new positions. From here, from South America, we see Indians so far away. Hmm. So I love British film. But this is so different to any other series the British company yeah. have made. Yeah. And that's why they, it's a door to open a new world. So yeah. I think you are very inspired. That's great. Are you back to, to the UK now? Yeah, I'm back in the UK now. Um, is, uh, if, how do you see the news? And, and Because I know that you've been, you have a background too from Nepal, also um, from Ukraine. Yeah. So it's how do you feel about that? It's been difficult for the family, I think. and. You know, it's, um, I'm glad that the news are putting it at the forefront. Um, Obviously, it's been really difficult to see how people of colour have been treated throughout this time. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think, if nothing else, the fact that it is so prevalent in the media means people can't ignore what's going on in the rest of the world. You know, as you know, Sri Lanka is going through a really rough time now as well. And obviously, that holds a special place in in my heart, having been there for four years. Um, So, yeah, it's... It's a really difficult time, but this is happening in the world all the time. And, you know, I think more awareness needs to be made all around, not just when things are close to home. And I'm already up for ending this interview. It's been a very pleasure. Is Uh, anything you want to let to the Chilean audience? Uh, oh. as a message for you that we want to learn about not also about the series but about you that you want to share if this is your time this is your microphone oh, i would just like to send all the love in the world for the support and i really hope they enjoy the fourth season um and if they can travel and visit sri lanka india anywhere you haven't been you know and you have the means to then do it don't don't wait Thank you so much, Amorita. I, I want to really thank you very much for the <laughs> honor to be here. Pleasure. We have learned so much about you. We support you and we will watch you all the new series because there's a lot to come. Thank you like and it. There are new, yes, there are new, uh, you know, actors, new person, persona. So thank you so much and all the best. I thank hope to see you soon. Absolutely. Goodbye. Bye. Si te ha gustado mi comentario, ya sabes, regálame muchos likes, corazones, tal. Suscríbete a mi canal Positiva y nos vemos hasta el próximo comentario con más cultura, espectáculos y las mejores series y películas de este canal Positiva. Nos vemos hasta el próximo programa.